Big Billy here for blackjack turbines, axial flux, low wind producing turbines. Anyways, um, I'm doing a what I call a uniformity test. <laughs> no, uh, it's it's actually what I'm doing is just getting some way to put these together and then find out dimensions, how much you know, uh, of a hub size I need um, to the inner part here. Right now I've got um, a seven and a half inch diameter, okay, with the uh, help of a, a Tupperware lid. And that helps me keep the uniformity also when I go to zip tie all these together. And then on top of it, uh, when I go to do the wires, putting the phases together. Okay, and then I want to give a quick shout out. This is the Epoxy King. And very fast. I couldn't believe how fast it came to me. But I'll put a link to this company. It's UV protected. So that's a plus. And well, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna do a little stand standoff on one side and a little less on the other. It depends on the pour. But I figure since all my staters take about a gallon of epoxy to make, then uh, well, so we're going to try to keep it all so that, uh, well, I try to keep them all the same size in a way. I didn't smash down these uh, coils with a vise. With a, I take like a towel and I wrap around and set them in the vise. And uh, then I crank it out and then they squeeze on in. That gives them a little bit smaller diameter for the center. Um, but... Uh, Otherwise, this time around, I'm pretty good with it. I'm gonna, you'll be able to see what I'm doing here pretty soon uh, after I get these all done. Okay, all right. Have a good one. I'll be back. phase taped up, or not taped up, but uh, connected together. I'm using the 22 to 16 gauge. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. And they're just, they fit perfectly on the ends of a 15 gauge wire, like, like here, you know. Let me put these down. Like that, but I use a a crimper and also uh, some electrical paste, and I go around and I do each phase first. Now these these are the ending phase, and along with these right here are the ending phases. <clears throat> but I go around to each one. I do the reds first. 
That's why I like taping them too. Red, and then, yeah, that was the last one. Red, you know, I go around and I, I do each face. So I, I start right here. Now I'm going to go to the whites and do the whites. I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Now I don't, I don't solder because I don't like the smell of it. And then on top of it, I always don't get a good fuse. And everybody goes, well, you can't get a good fusion with this. You're crimping everything. Well, if you do it correctly, like this electrical paste and, you know, making sure that when you go in like so and get her. Let's see, make sure that paste is on there. Get Kind of move it up and down like you're, you know, you know what. Anyways. <laughs> I crimp it down and I get it on the spot of the first part of it so I can really get down on her. There you go. She ain't twisting nothing. Then uh, let's see, we'll get the next white phase. And this would be the end. This is this is the uh, uh, part of the end that goes into the white. So this part that's got the um, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Sorry about this. This part that's got the heat sink on it is this 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 end that doesn't have the heat sink, which I'll back up now. This end that doesn't have a heat sink will go into this coil, like so. Okay? So I got to cut a wire with a length from here to this end and then making sure that I do grind the ends. I just use a little Dremel stone, that's all. But they got to be ground down good and uh, so they make connection inside that little boot. So that's the way I do it and I'm going to complete it here and then uh, show you the next part of the phase which would be after I have it all. Oh I, I was going to check show you the ohms on this. Make sure we get the ohms on her. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. Let's see if I can. I'm going to check that red phase first. Turn this a little bit. Sorry about the jitter moving. Yeah. I think I can get her. Can you see the number? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. All right, so we got the red phase. And this is the open end. And then I got the other red phase, which is down here. And hopefully we can get a connect. Right? I got it right. Why aren't you working for me? There it goes. 0.9. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me get this moved up a little bit more. Gotta let it settle. Once it settles, there it is. 0.9. That's the first phase. Okay, that shows also that it's all connecting, that I'm getting current going through it. So keeping the keeping the little Tupperware bowl thing in there and uh, you know, making sure everything's nice and uniform the best I can get it. And uh, all I can say is the next thing after I get these other phases done is the making of the mold. And I have a different idea how I'm going to do that. So, all right, this is Billy uh, from Blackjack Wind Turbines. Axial Flux Wind Turbines, I should say. 
And uh, you guys have a good day. I hope everything goes good on the 4th for you. This is my uh, uh, 4th of July stator. That's why it's red, white, and blue. And have a good one.